Okay, so the next transition in this sweep series is going to be um, after you're attempting the waiter sweep traditionally. So you can do this right off the bat, but I'm going to show it as a failed waiter sweep first. So everything is going to be the same as we've been doing. I'm coming in for the waiter sweep and you know, this leg, while it might be, the knee might be off the ground and the, the foot is planted, even when I'm trying to, um, you know, push him up and elevate my hips, maybe he's just, you know, a lot heavier than me, stronger, everything's really tight, he's hiding that foot, and I, I just cannot get him to bring it towards me. So from here, I'm going to keep my hand here, pushing his, basically his, his pec armpit away, and I'm gonna transition this arm to the, the leg that I was trying to, um, grab from the waiter sweep. So coming here, everything transitions now. So it's, it's kind of like a, a single leg, um, but on the ground. So this is like the more modern deep path that everybody thinks about. So I'm gonna be cupping the knee with this outside hand, the inner hand. Um, some people tuck it underneath. You can at least just hide it, you know, be aware of the fact that you don't wanna dangle it out here because he's gonna start attacking, um, you know, kimuras, key locks, straight on bars, things like that. So I'm coming in here and his knee is typically facing um, like forward. It's, it's parallel with the ground pretty much, facing the same way that my hips are facing. So keeping the figure four lock, I'm gonna actually walk my hips and it's starting to change the angle of his leg. So when I feel his knee facing the ceiling, I'm gonna cup the um, inner part of his knee and I can reinforce that by pushing with my inner arm and I'm going to roll up. So this arm, it just naturally transitions underneath and then I'm gonna launch myself forward, grab it under the other leg for a pretty traditional over under pass. I can let go of my uh, figure four lock at this point and switch my hips, making sure that I'm keeping pressure on him, shoulder on the stomach, and then I'm gonna set my legs, adjust my arms for a more traditional side chain. So that was off of the uh, failed later sweep, so you can just initiate this off the bat want to just go for it. So here, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna attack, grab this leg, but I'm gonna transition myself and shrimp down to the, the other leg. So we're here, just launch myself down here, and then he's gonna set, come down, because if he leans forward too much, there's no weight on his legs, and there's really nothing to keep me from popping out the back door. So, have my hand position here, and the figure four is still locked, walking my hips, until I feel him start to sag, and then I'm gonna pull this knee, rotating around this leg, shooting my arm through and now under, leaning forward, switching my hips, adjusting my leg position. Um, you can get this out first if you want, if you're kind of worried about the inverted triangle, or if you just keep your head tight to his thigh, it shouldn't be an issue. I can stick my arm for the cross face, and then bail on this and check the hip, get the on the scable grip or you know I can come to the other side and block the hips but whatever kind of side control 